Imagine building a complete full stack application just by a Figma design. Yes, you heard it right. My name is Kushal Vijay and I work as a software engineer for Microsoft. And today's video, we'll be diving deep how you can build a full stack application while coding and starting from just a Figma design. Let's get started with this amazing tutorial. I've been sharing so many AI tutorials with you guys and if you're not follow following them, please make sure to like and subscribe this video so that you don't miss these things. AI is in trend and you should surf on that trend. Let's get started. So how many of you have already been using Replit coding agent? I have been using it while coding so many projects with Replit agent and it's amazing in performance. It will obviously, so you might have white coded your dream projects. If you're a student, if you're participating in a hackathon, if you're a business owner, if you're a, you know, CEO or founder who loves to code, then you might be aware of wipe coding and Replit is some is a bridge that can help you wipe code. If you have used Replit before, you know that there is a chat box where you can describe your app that you want to build and then the Replit coding agent will do the hard work at the back end and LLMs work in the under the hood. But now we have or Replit has added this feature of import code or design where you can import your Figma design and get started with the boilerplate in just a few clicks. So you have to connect your Figma, uh, connect your Figma with this so that you can import your Figma designs directly to uh, Replit. And once you have done that, you just have to wait and sit and then later on you can do all the modifications. And it's not like that you're building just a front-end application, you're apparently building a full stack application where the front-end part is kind of side loaded by the uh, Replit agent by just importing a Figma design and converting it to a front-end application. Let me show you how. So you can go to Figma community to find any online templates which are available on their platform. I'll be using this. They are freely available on the Figma website. You can open it in Figma. And I'll be using one more. So recently, Striver, which is one of the popular YouTubers in India, they have posted about uh, this uh, uh, a design challenge where they were, for their TUF website, Take You Forward website, they were seeking you know, Figma designs or design ideas. And one of the guys have, uh, on Twitter posted their design and it looks really amazing. So we'll be doing that also. How uh, Replit import will help us import that design which that person built. So we'll be doing that later. Let's get started with this one. So what you have to do, you have to go to Figma first of all. You have to, these are the Figma frames. Uh, we will we'll import the home tab here. Just select that home tab, not this one, but the complete tab. Let me go to this. So. Now you have to click right, copy as, let me close this first. Close this and then copy, paste as, copy link as selection. When you once you copy that link, go to Replit import, paste that link and obviously I'm importing it as my uh, private. I don't want any other one to see it for now, but later on you can publish it so that others can also see. Now it has started importing the Replit agent will work in building that Figma into a full JavaScript website application and it will, it's not like it will do it in one go, it will keep on doing iterations and uh, whatever error will come in between, it will fix it on the go. So let's wait till then it will build everything. One important thing I would like everyone to know is wipe coding is very interesting, very fascinating, but it's always good to have the understanding what's going on under the hood. If you will have that understanding, you'll be more than, it will be very easy for you to make changes, make progress faster, and you will be the one who will be utilizing AI to its fullest. People who don't know AI, definitely wipe coding enables them to build things, but uh, people who know code, uh, it, it can, Replit can empower them do 10x, right? So it has imported the Figma, it has now the Replit agent is doing its thing. It is integrating it into a full stack JavaScript website and then preview will be available soon. So Striver, which is one of the popular YouTubers have recently posted about a uh, contest, design contest, like I mentioned, and this was the contest, I believe, where is it was posted pretty recently. Um, yeah, here it is. So this was the design, this particular guy, Swastik have posted the design and the Figma link also. Let me open the Figma. So I was thinking, why not test this also? Uh, so the, the guy have made a completely amazing design and he can build this complete website, the front end part of it, 
Later on, the backend can also be done. The integration, API integration, or you know, forms and everything can be added on Replit directly because it's a full stack application. But this can be imported in just few clicks. So we we test this out also right now. Let's continue building our the current one. Okay, so this has imported the complete design and it looks amazing. Let me open it in the new tab because uh, that, that will look much better. What is wrong and what's right? So let's open it here. Okay, this is the preview. And honestly, this looks amazing. I mean, it's the first attempt. Although I can see there are a lot of overlapping, it's not fully perfect, but way you have the boilerplate ready in just few clicks, which is insane. Okay, we, I can see a lot of uh, issues here. There is overlapping and blah, blah stuff. Let's fix that. Okay, let's go to the Replit agent. Uh, it's still doing, it's still fixing the things. It's still, the agent is reiterating. So it, it's not like it will do everything in one go. If there are errors in uh, compilation or if there are uh, differences in what it actually, what the design actually look like, it will do those uh, things on its own. So these names don't have gap in between the navigation bar. So there are a few ways to edit this. Either you can ask the or wipe code that the navigation bar tabs are doesn't have spaces in between, or if there is a visual selection tool, which, or there is a visual selection tool which it provides, Replit provides, and you can select this and you can either do the edits like this. From here, you want to change the font size, you, you want to change anything in your color or you know background and everything. No, but what we exactly need is uh, add spaces between navigation tabs. Okay, we have given the selection visual via visual selection to Replit coding agent and it will do the spacing and you, you will see in a moment that it will fix that thing and bingo, it has fixed. Okay, now if, there is one more thing. If you see here, the, the image that we posted from the Figma community, which is here, if you see through it, it looks a bit different than what we have. There are these images look a bit different so what we'll do is so since our image was not properly aligned what it did was i captured a screenshot from the original figma design and the screenshot from our actual preview and then pasted here and then we just have to write uh, the images doesn't look similar as per design please fix it image Second image is the right one. The expected design. Okay. And in the meantime, let me show you. So it's not just that you have the front end, you have all everything, the complete JavaScript application is ready here. You can go into any file, the client part, the server part, and make all the changes that you need you any integration or any backend logic or data transformation that you want to add you can do it right from here okay it's still working let's let's wait till the time it fixes the replit coding agent tried pretty hard but it's not able to fix it let's try another way another prompt to fix this let's remove uh, replace this particular image and upload uh, the image that we recently copied no not this one Replace this image with attached image. And let's see, this time it will be able to fix it or not. The core and core thing is you have your boilerplate and pretty good boilerplate for the front end part is ready in just few clicks. And that's a that's a brilliant part and it has replaced with the correct image now. Now let's do one more thing. For instance, this services, right? So let me pick in the selection tool. And I don't like the font. The font is a font is of bigger size. So this particular font is of size 30. We'll 
update the size for this font also to 30 it has changed now and let me move this particular font parent uh, no let me undo this uh, okay this should be 30 and save the changes this div is overlapping the other cards put it above the card cards like search engine optimization okay so most of the tools that i have used in the past do not provide any tool like this visual selector or how you can con you know converting a figma design into a full fledged front end website and a uh, with a back end also okay see the services has moved up to the correct position and subsequently you can uh, add any more changes that you want see changing the font size or those are refining or very minor steps that anyone can do but the major hurdle or the major burden have been taken by ai replit holding agent and the replit import which is insanely amazing now I want you to test this particular thing by using the link in my description and I want you to post about it on Twitter, on LinkedIn and tag me so that I will you know, share in my comments how it does your uh, application looks like. Since I mentioned about uh, this one, uh, the Strivers, uh, Strivers design also, let's quickly import this. I'll not do the whole thing but uh, I'll do a bit of it. Let's use maybe one of the frames. Okay, this looks good and simple. Let's use this particular frame. Copy as selection, link, and we'll go to Replit Home, import code and design, Figma design. Once you connect it, paste the, and then import. And I am challenging everyone to post about it to, uh, and tag me so that I'll be, I'll be more than happy to see your projects. Uh, if you have already, if you already have your, designs ready or you can use any figma community designs if you're a designer and want to learn front end or why code products uh, which is which are front end heavy because you have the design already then this is the right tool for you you guys can check out from uh, check out the link in my description and if you have any doubts till now please make sure to comment it down below and let's see how it is it has imported and also tag striver or take you forward in the comments below so that they'll also see we have converted the design into a full-fledged application so it has done its magic and it's still doing its work but as you can see the preview it looks absolutely similar to what the design said and this is amazing just a single click and you have your front end of ready or a page ready so now you know what are the next steps i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care Put your comments. I want to know what is your experience using Replit Import. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.